Assalamu alaikum students this is Farwa Batool your O level computer science instructor and welcome to my channel learn to teach in this video we are formally going to start section number 2 of O level computer science why because i have earlier mentioned that section number 2 is more logical and a student needs more assistance in this particular section so why not start with that okay so here we are going to let me just tell you that i'm following this book that is the second edition by david watson and helen williams this is not the first book or the older one it is the second edition that is uh, according to the updated syllabus of o level computer science yes if you are giving your exams in the year of 2022 three and onwards so i would suggest you to please follow this second edition okay next let's talk about section number 2 and basically section number 2 comprises of four topics or we can say four chapters according to this book we have chapter number 7 till chapter number 10 in this particular section section number 2 of o level computer science so let's just start with chapter number 7 that is let me tell you the name of chapter number 7 we call it algorithm design and problem solving let me write it over here this is algorithm design and problem solving So in this video we are going to see the topics that we will study in this particular chapter this is the first chapter of section number 2 let's talk about what we are going to study here topics to be covered because this is very important to understand that what is this chapter about what we are supposed to learn what are the objectives so let's see that okay students one by one i'm going to write down the topics here So the very first topic topics to be covered the very first topic here is the program development life cycle we say that pdlc it's program development life cycle what is this this is how uh, we are going to develop a program in terms of stages it means what are the particular stages that are being um uh, followed in order to develop a particular program we will we will look at analyzers we will look at design we look at coding testing maintenance stages of program development life cycle we will see this topic in detail the second topic we will be talking about is computer systems and the subsystems how a computer is designed by using the subsystems and how each of these subsystems work together to make up a big computer system okay the third one is problem decomposition problem decomposition is very important because whenever we have a complex problem so we need to understand it in detail manner so it is very important to decompose a problem so that we can go to its requirement specification so that we can propose a solution for it okay so we need to decompose a problem into the components or we can say into smaller tasks so that they can be easily achievable okay then we will see the methods used to design and construct solutions to problem once we will look at problem decomposition we will figure out the specifications of the problem then we will figure out what are the methods that we can use for the solution of the problem so we will see methods used to design or construct solution or we can say program that is going to solve your problem solutions to problems okay this is important that how we are going to choose the methods and will it be effective or not next we have the purpose of an algorithm once we choose the method we design it then we will go to see what is the purpose of an algorithm we write an algorithm why we should write it what this particular algorithm will 
uh, will be used for what is the purpose so this is what we need to understand okay next we have some standard methods of solution this is very important here you are going to learn some of these standard algorithms predefined methods of solutions like we can have a look at linear search here and then we will be having a look at bubble sort bubble sort algorithm these are the different methods of solution and they will help us that how we can sort out our problem totaling and then we will see the counting algorithm and finally we will see how to find an average or maximum and minimum in a given data maximum and minimum we will see the algorithms sort of of all of these standard methods of solution okay next to it the seventh topic we will be discussing is validation checks and the verification checks this is important when you are taking input from a user so you need to check that is that particular data is valid or not and also you have to apply verification checks on the user's data that you are getting as an input then we will talk about the use of different types of test data why because test data is very important in order to check for errors or check for whether your particular solution is working as expected or not so we will see the different types of test data here we will be working on trace tables to figure out the errors okay next very very important the 10th topic that is writing amending amending means any change if required then identifying after using the test data on certain uh, program we will figure out the errors we will find out what are the errors that are coming up so we will amend our uh, program we will amend our algorithm whatever we have designed we will identify and also the important thing is correcting the errors if the errors are going to come we will correct those errors okay so basically it will be done in flow charts in a design stage we make flow chart we okay programs are done in the third stage uh, the coding stage we also make pseudo codes pseudo codes are done in the design stage of pdlc i will be explaining each and everything in detail so these are the total 10 topics we will be studying in chapter number 7 that is algorithm design and problem solving okay students thank you so much for watching this video i hope that it is going to be helpful for you take care bye bye have a nice day and do not forget to subscribe